Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is a series of service videos from Country Tech for automotive mechanics. My name is Stefan Meyer and in each video I'll show you a different vehicle engine. Let's see which one we are looking at today. Today we have a 1.5 liter 88 kilowatt TDCI Ford engine from a 2015 Grand C-Max with the engine code WXDB. For this we need our CT1203K1 timing belt kit and the V04 toolbox. The belt change interval is 200,000 kilometers or 10 years. Before you start work on the engine, first remove the undershield, engine mounting, timing belt cover, coolant reservoir and starter motor. Fit this locking tool in place of the starter motor to lock the flywheel so that we can detach the crankshaft belt pulley. To remove the bottom timing belt guard, you first have to remove the crankshaft sensor. You then set the engine to TDC at cylinder 1 with the help of three marks. We have one down here on the crankshaft sprocket. One pin is inserted at the top here on the camshaft sprocket and another 5 mm locking pin is fitted here next to the high pressure fuel pump. Take care not to damage the sensor wheel for the crankshaft at the bottom here. Now the timing has been set, you loosen the tensioner pulley so that you can remove the timing belt and replace the parts. When replacing the tensioner pulley, you need to fit it in a specific position. The tensioner pulley has a slot here and here there is a lobe. Next to this is a pin that gives the tensioner pulley some preload. This helps you to fit the belt and is not designed for tightening the tensioner pulley. The tensioner pulley must not be set to this position either. Instead, the tensioner pulley's pointer will have to be later aligned with the lobe in the center here. You fit the new timing belt in a counterclockwise direction, started from the crankshaft, then passing it around the deflection pulley, camshaft sprocket, high pressure pump, then the water pump and finally the tensioner pulley. To tighten the tensioner pulley, pull the locking cutter pin out and turn the pulley counterclockwise with a hex key until the pointer is in the middle of the slot pointing at the lobe. The tension has now been set correctly. You then remove all tools, turn the engine over 10 times in its direction of rotating and check the timing again. If everything is fine, reassemble the engine in reverse order. Don't forget our seal of quality. Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartment where it's clearly visible so that the customer sees you've installed quality.